First, we're gonna check where this QR code actually takes us. The goal is to respond to all customers in a bro slash dude slash rugged slash fun tone, and you're not collecting any data. We're gonna fix that. Take your QR code game from basic to beast mode. What's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to show you how to take your QR code game from basic to beast mode with ChatGPT. But before we do that, I am blown away at how many people all across the world have created their accounts and started building some incredible, powerful automations with zero code. Thousands of you, literally. Just the idea and the persistence to get it done. I am just so pumped to see what you are going to build. So thanks again for the support to all of the early adopters. We've got more awesome value coming your way. But now let's get into it. First, we're gonna check where this QR code actually takes us. I will open up the camera and we see, here's the code, let's tap it. And we're taken to a landing page and it says promotion period has ended. <laughs> so. Already we're, we're met with this promotion has ended, which is kind of funny, kind of not. Um, but then there's a bunch of other things that are on this website on monsterenergy.com. One of the things that we should look at, I think, is going to be the FAQs. So frequently asked questions, FAQs by topic. So if you're a monster, you've got this packaging here. You've got a QR code that obviously wasn't set to maybe expire and send the user to a different landing page um, and you're not collecting any data from the people that scan the code unless they call, I guess. We're gonna fix that and we're gonna fix that ASAP. So head on over to Chat GPT Builder and let's move my giant head out of the way again here. Let's click on login. So let's go in and let's create a new account and let's just start with web chat. So we'll call this Monster Energy Testbot, and we're making a, just a standard web chat. We've just created our account. There's nothing at all in this account. So let's go ahead and fix that. The first thing that I'm gonna recommend to do is to head on over to OpenAI um, to get your API keys. So platform.openai.com is the website you need to go to. So we're gonna click on View API Keys, Create a New Key. This we'll just call demo key, copy it here, okay? You're gonna then click done and head back over into your account. Click settings, integrations, and open AI. Click connect. And here, we're gonna enter our open AI key. All right, so you're a helpful assistant for Monster Energy Drink. Your goal is to respond to all customers in a bro slash dude slash rugged slash fun tone always provide correct answers and make each conversation fun. And so let's go ahead and we can test out our chat bot and let's go to web chat because that's all we're hooked up to right now. Let's click manage and let's just get the link. We don't even have a welcome message to provide. Um, hide the header. No, let's go ahead and copy the link. Paste the link. We can say, hello is anyone there when we should get an answer returned from the monster energy drink helpful assistant in a fun way let's see what we got hello is anyone there yo dude you've reached the monster energy drink assistant what's up how can i help you with your monster energy needs today so step one complete create the account step two integrate chat gpt done and we've got our conversation working already so let's create a new agent we're going to call this monster drink AI and we're going to click create and what we want to do is let's go ahead and delete both of these initial intents that they give us because this will interfere with the sweet integration that we've already made for you what we want to do now is click the gear icon here and then we're going to scroll to enable beta features and API now what we can do is add a knowledge base. So click knowledge base, create knowledge base. We're gonna call this monster AI, click save. 
we don't have a knowledge base document yet. This is where you're gonna be able to upload your PDFs, your FAQs, all your documents, or read a live URL. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's create our first document. We'll call this again, Monster AI FAQ. The knowledge type is gonna be an FAQ. The type's gonna be HTML, and we're gonna use a URL. This is the URL that we'll use. Copy it, paste it right here. Enable automatic reload. So this means when the FAQ changes, every 24 hours, Google will crawl your site and pull any new information that's been loaded. Create. Now it's just gonna work. So Google is now learning all of the information associated with this FAQ URL. This means whenever I ask a question that is answered in the FAQs, we should get that response back immediately in our chatbot. The larger your data set is, the longer this training is gonna take. So make sure you've got something to sip on. All right, so we've got our knowledge base loaded. Let's check it out. Click view details, and we can see there are five pages of questions and answers here. Okay, so that worked perfectly. There's one additional step and that is to add a response. So click add response and already for the response number one is a knowledge based answer that dialogue flow will generate based off of your FAQs. We can go to our bot and test it. Let's go ahead and do that. What we're going to want to do is go back into your account and click on settings. Click on integrations, click on Google dialog flow, click connect, click back into dialog flow to connect your agent. The agent's name that we chose was monster drink AI. Continue done. Now we should be able to ask any of these questions and get the answer returned properly. So let's take this question. Let's go back into our chatbot. To find a list of stores that sell Monster Energy drinks, go to our brand finder. And that is exactly what the FAQ shows. Now let's make the flow that we're gonna associate with our own QR code that's actually gonna do something for us here. Let's click on flows. Let's click on, click add, and we'll say, QR promo. Let's go ahead and was there anything that was cool? We'll just go ahead and grab this handy dandy cool little screenshot of their FAQ page. And let's click on send a message and click add content. Let's choose card and let's upload our image. Here's the image I just took a screenshot of. And let's add a button here that says um, FAQs. And let's add another button, view promos. Okay, and so let's go ahead and go back over here to their website. We see here's their promotions tab. I'm gonna just click this link and copy the link address here. Let's just give them a way they can click right to promotions save and let's do the same thing for the faqs page just in case they they um want to be old school we can let them have it their way so let's click save okay so now the next thing we're going to do is click add content and let's click actions this time and let's click on log custom events and what we'll do here is we'll say qr code on box was scanned and what this is going to do is every single time someone scans that QR code, we're going to track it. Okay. So this is a very, very smart thing for us to do. All right. So next we're going to drag open a new conversation block and let's click add content. When we want to ask our users or our customers or our guests a question, we need to use the get user data function. So we're going to say, thanks for 
choosing monster please provide your email address to get special deals and offers if you want to get data from a user you want to use a get user data block in the block we've got thanks for choosing monster please provide your email address to get special deals and offers when you click this edit button you can define what sort of data that you want to collect and that's going to be chosen by the reply type in this case we don't need to do anything because we've already selected email but we have a lot of other choices here that we can choose from if they give us a fake email or something that's not formatted correctly like they're missing the at dot com they're going to get this response you can edit that no problem here is a skip button and so if they don't want to give the email address no problem they can just hit skip and so we're collecting the email address and so we'll say awesome thanks so much let's hit publish and we want to next create the qr code to do that we're just going to go over to the tools section click on qr code generator we're going to select the flow qr code promo and click generate now we've got our qr code and so now i've got my phone back on the screen we can go ahead and scan this code just like we were scanning this code and we're going to be able to provide a much better cooler on brand experience let's do it so open up the camera here's our code tap it monster energy drink bam all right so we are here we've got our frequently asked questions graphic we can click on faqs and we're, we're taken right there or we can click view promos and it's going to take us to the promos page we get a message that says thanks for choosing monster please provide your email address to get special deals all right so i'll give them my email and it'll collect it thanks so much and i'll say um let's look at their faqs and, and ask a question what do i do if there's something wrong with the can after i've purchased it question mark and let's see what we get as an answer for any problems with your monster can or drink please contact us is that what we get in the FAQ boom it's the actual answer are monster products gluten free let's ask them that are your drinks gluten free our products do not have any gluten type ingredients funny way to word that maybe but we got the correct answer based on the faqs and let's ask another question we'll say what celebrities are known to drink monster energy drink and let's see if we get an answer here what celebrities are known to drink monster energy drink so we have a pause here because the chatbot knows that okay this is not part of our standard everyday faqs but we got to return an answer it's going to be up to open ai to give us the correct answer and here we go guys yo there are quite a few celebs who have been spotted enjoying monster energy drinks some of these rad superstars include rob dyrdek conor mcgregor ken block this is awesome guys this is a much much better answer than any employee is going to give you from a monster energy drink that's working at the support center sorry support center worker this is incredible so guys, that's it for today. I hope you thought this was a cool demo of how you could take your basic QR code and go straight into beast mode with Chad GPT Builder. As always, if you have any questions or you need help, just reach out into the comments, hit us up on our web chat, and we will respond quickly and get you taken care of. Thanks for watching and thanks for the support. Have a great day.